Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wise here, back with episode 3 on Creeper Realm. Today we're going to be doing a couple raids, and I just wanted to throw something in the intro real fast. We are going to be doing a big giveaway this video. Um, split them from number 1 faction on Creeper Realm. Gave me a big donation of items, and I want to give it away to you guys. So here is just a quick run through of the items. A bunch of Horde Summoners, we have a bunch of Masks, um, Hades Summoner, Hilo Summoners, Half Stack of Gaps, more Masks, Fragments, Void Charms, Enchanted Charms, Mask XP. I'll just go ahead and run my mouse over all these so you guys can see them. And then we have a bunch of, this is all Divine, P5, and Breaking 5. Uh, this is on Breaking 4, but that's on Breaking 5. And then these are all Sharp 6. Everything here is Sharp 6. Sharp 6 Axe. And then we have the Divine and Gifted Bows. I was told that P5 goes for about 5 mil a piece, so this is a lot of money in gear, and this is a lot of valuable loot here, guys. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment your IGN and put hashtag guys for YouTube rank. You can just do, I'll put it on the screen how to type it. We're trying to get Terriers to give me YouTube rank on here, and he said I'm close to it, but we're not quite at it. So let's get the comments filled with that in your IGN, and I will be doing a random comment draw for the winner. I'm either going to do two winners, one for this chest, one for that chest, or depending on how many entries we have, the person might just get both. But I'll let you guys know before I draw. With all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into the episode. Alright guys, so here we are at our raid on Dave, and this is the cannon box I made. Uh, it's got no walls, I just quickly ginned it up. I'll bring it up on the mini-map there so you guys can see it. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to use a blueprint on Psycho PvP. So this is what it looks like in your inventory. This is just the 200 stacker because we only have to hit Y199, so I'm cutting it kind of close, but we're just going to use a 200 stacker. Um, it gives you some information there, the total blocks, how long it takes to build it, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use it. So if you right-click and place it down, you don't have to use Obsidian, I'm just using it to remember the block. Um, you can see right now it goes outside of my cannon box. I actually had these particles when I built the cannon box around it. So what you can do is you can rotate it and I have to rotate it three times to get it to fit where I want it, it'll go green because it's not obstructed anymore it shows you an arrow of the direction that you're gonna be shooting in and I just look at my mini map back it up a bit you can see their base up ahead so that is the direction I want and then you see this block over here this is the barrel um, so if you've played factions a long time ago you think barrel normally it's like down here in the front of the can and, and you shoot at the top of the barrel that's the Y level that's what I'm used to this is kinda different so this on the cannon actually goes up and then you would put a block so right now it would hit this block and then it would go straight so basically what you can do is you can shoot to the side with these cannons but you can also shoot um, I think they go six chunks to the side and then I, I don't know how many blocks exactly this cannon goes up but um, yeah basically you can it's a very adjustable way of shooting cannons I did it so I'm actually aimed with the right x-axis I need and um, I just have to go up to y200 um, and then put the blocks there and we should be good this is 196 so I'll make a little hole in my barrel with some cobwebs I think is what they do to make it more protected and we will be good there so basically I have the blueprint lined out where I want so to start it you come in here and you go so you're gonna click this right here and it says you can view the progress by viewing blueprint information and you can actually watch it start printering or blueprint whatever you want to call it. whatever you want to call it we use printers what we're used to from magma realm this is basically printer but you don't have to do any of the work so i give it 30 minutes and this cannon will just appear right before my eyes you do fire it once before you fill it uh, the water is already placed everything is ready to go to fill it but they will blow up if you don't fire it once so you pre-fire then fill it put a sand bot down so you don't have to play sand get your barrel good to go and you are ready to fire and destroy the base all right guys so this is the cannon this is the cannon fully built Miok wants to mention that I built it he was here this is all him though um, we put the blueprint in after <laughs> after 30 minutes the cannons now done I put sand bots down we filled it with one TNT and we're gonna give it a test shot this is the barrel I lined it up with the x-axis already so we just we did this little creation here this was Miok's idea and uh, we have one TNT and we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Let's come down here. It better not blow up. Did it blow the cannon up? Alright. 
Because the barrel, I mean, yeah, it's a one by one. Uh, we didn't blow the wall up either, though. Oh, but the, uh, the Coven's cannon might have been in the way. Here, I'm gonna FPV. Can you fill it with another? This is why you don't let Miok build your cannons. They never work. I'll go ahead and pull up the minimap for you guys, too, so you can watch. We are about... A little bit short of halfway through their walls. Once Miot gets back, um, I'll probably have him go back to the cannon so he can finish firing, or he can fire on the alt that we have there, and we will finish getting through these walls. Miot's cannon's finally working. I told the I told the people it's your cannon. <laughs> I'm telling everybody it's yours. Oh, almost like two more walls. Three more, I think. Alright. Uh, it should be this wall. Breach! <laughs> Wait, we need one more to get- We need one more to get into this building. The obvi building. Box. Alright. This is where all their spawners were. Oh, there's a guy in there. He's bandit. Keep going, keep going! <laughs> we have to get in there before he mines. We didn't do slash raid or anything. Yes! He's in there! Oh, okay, so if, if he can, we'll get spawners either way. Come on, hurry up, cannon! Ah, one more! Oh my gosh, we have a one by one. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in, I'm in! TP! Oh, F enemy, enemy, Dave. He's AFK. Here, Miyok, help me crit him out. Let's go. Head price 200. Okay, he had full set of P4 on him. Look at these spawners. Okay, quick thumbnail. Miyok, get in the thumbnail. Alright, let's go. I gotta clear my inventory real fast so we can pick these up. You ready for all this value I'm bringing to the faction? This is a lot more than 5 mil. Come here. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need your... Why did my builder's tool just turn into a pickaxe? Or a shovel? Oh. Let's go. Come here, Miyok. I need your inventory. <laughs> okay, that, that was... And look, mob hoppers. That was a lot of magma cubes. Don't even lie. We did, I just put it all on FPV. What? Epic, let's go. Oh, there's Blaze in there too, it was a mix. I see, you were down me. Down, I needed all this P4 too, our box got split, did you see that? The one that you shared with uh, MK? It got split, like by accident though, there was still loot in the chest that didn't blow up, but all of it got nuked basically. There's still a lot of loot in there, though. Um, but yeah, we... we nah, no, it's not. <laughs> we had, like, no P4. Alright, guys, that was it for this raid. Me and Milk, we uh, we destroyed this base. Dave is now going to be off F-top. Alright, guys, it looks like we finally got the cannon to work here. I'm going to go ahead and put it on auto. And we should be good to just watch this start booming through these walls. And hopefully we don't blow up the cannon. We're rating number six right now. Um, I kind of, I kind of placed the cannon in a bad spot. So we're aiming pretty high and hoping to hit stuff that's low. It sounds stupid, but I'm hoping it works out. Let's see. Alright guys, we are now, we breached, but, just fire real fast, and we should get into this box here.
Let's go. We are now in this box. They don't currently have anything in here. But it should... Oh, there's some golems. Are there spawners still here? Let's go, guys. Here we go. We got some IG spawners. Slash EC. Let me throw some stuff away. Let me get him up here because I don't have enough inventory room for all this. I can do that. Alright. FPV1. We got two IG spawners here. I'm going to fire again. Let's see what else we get. It's the last shot. This should get us into the next spawner box. Potentially both of those. There's more spawners in there too. We'll see. Perfect. Right into here. Let's mine these up. Okay, inventory full of horse spawners. I'm just going to put those in FPV. Because I don't have room to hold them all. That's some free value, guys. I think in total, we weren't hitting... We were hitting about half their value, I think, by doing this. Um, they had more in a different location. I think it was above this. I'm gonna see. I don't know if that's gonna blow up that wall or not. It might. Yeah, it did. It did. There's guardian spawners on the floor. Let's. Oh, perfect. FPV2. Look at this. Another inventory full of guardian spawners mixed with. Uh, there should be some endermen in there too. I might have already thrown them in the PV. Fill all that. Let's go, guys. FPV2. They might have dropped too. We need to start going through all this chest loot because he was getting a bunch of stuff and throwing it on the ground. He might have blown it all up. Although it didn't look like there was a whole lot in here. Alright guys, I might have mixed this up a little bit, but this is what we got from that raid. It's kind of hard to tell in my texture pack, but this is just like a double chest full of spawners. Uh, I had two in here that I couldn't fit. Uh, three mob hoppers, and I think that my faction mate might have got some more spawners and... At least I know he got a mob hopper. But yeah, that was just from uh, a simple 255 stacker and a bunch of TNT. Nothing, nothing fancy. They just had normal walls. I think one or two sand walls, but the the cannon that you blueprint in handles all of that. So pretty quick and easy raid, and this is what we got from it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a pretty exciting one with those raids. Don't forget about the giveaway. Make sure to comment your IGN and the hashtag I put on the screen right now to enter and I will be doing a draw for either two or one lucky winners. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.